Hi everyone, my name is Will. Thank you for tuning into my channel today. Today we are going to be doing a collective energy reading for February 9th, 2023. So let's see what the energies are today in the collective. So I hope everyone is having a great day. It is, oh my gosh, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> it is Thursday. It is Thursday. Um, I hope everyone is having a great week. I'm halfway through my week, so that is great. And so far it's been going very well. And I hope you guys are having a great week as well. All right. So as always, I do not accept any Okay, we're going to just leave that there. Empress, Empress card. I do not accept any Archon, Reptilian, Demonic, or Negative Attachments. I only accept light and love in this space. And I would like to ask Archangel Michael's White Light of Protection over this reading. And I'd like to ask Spirit, what are the collective energies today? February 9th, 2023. What, what are the collective energies we need to be aware of? Whoa. Okay, those cards flipped over in the middle of the deck. All right. So we have the Empress energy. That one flew out at the beginning, uh, followed by the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Swords. So I feel like I feel like this time in your life may be coming to an end. So this, this energy of being very much in your like nurturing uh, energy, um, the Empress is very much nurturing, it's very motherly energy, it's very much um, being one with nature itself and this planet and I feel like right now something something is causing it to come to an end so as you see from the Empress picture she's very much feeling herself she is out in nature she's one with nature she you can tell that she feels very powerful very content and just you can just feel the caring loving energy that is just radiating off of her like all of the gold golden color that's around her that is that empress energy just showing for the world to see i feel like that energy might be coming well it is not might it is coming to an end okay um something is interrupting that energy um i feel like mm, you may not you may not be wanting to take a first step you may not want to move you may not want to start fresh with a new beginning on something um, concerning you know a relationship a job you may your energy may be coming stagnant now i will say this and this further explains why this empress energy is coming to an end the empress goes with the flow she she is nature she is mother nature um and as you know mother nature uh does not go oh no this has to happen at this time and this like nature the nature of nature is anything can happen like right now it feels it sounds like the the roof is coming off this building right now because the wind is so high. Was it high earlier before I started this uh, this reading? No, but we're going with the phone. We're gonna be doing this reading regardless. Um, <laughs> so.
So I feel like that not going with the flow, that wanting to stay wanting to stay stagnant, wanting to stay in the energy that you're in and not wanting to move and, and go with the flow. Um, I feel like that's causing this Empress energy to go away because you're, you're trying to stop, you're trying to freeze time, you're trying to stop the energies from moving. And you're thinking, well, if I just stay here and I don't move, you know, the universe will just keep on going. Problem is, is that you're going to be shoved in that new direction, okay? That new beginning, whatever that is, that fresh start, that, that taking that first step, that action, you're gonna be shoved into it um, if, you're, if you're unwilling to go yourself. Um, and that's why this Empress energy is coming to an end right now. Um, the Emperor energy is very, you know, unwilling to move, very, um, very much, uh, inflexible. Whereas the Empress energy is more flexible, goes with the flow, more watery type of energy. Um, so by you refusing to move, uh, not wanting to take that first step, um, it's causing you to, 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 it's causing you to step out of this energy. And just because you're taking a first step, just because you're moving forward, just because you are, just because you are taking that action, okay, all right, that right now you're not wanting to take, um, doesn't mean that you're not going to stay in this energy. The Empress is able to stay in this energy regardless because she goes with the flow. So going with the flow is very, very important. That's what I'm getting right now, going with the flow. Um, yeah. And right now you have a lot of emotions. You have a lot of emotions. You... Uh, and you wanna share those with those around you. Whether you're in a relationship or work, you want to share those feelings um, with other people. Um, we have the Knight of Cups card. So, are there any other messages, Spirit? I feel like this is only halfway. Mm. I feel like if you're not careful, okay, whether it's regarding not moving, not taking that first step, or maybe sharing too much, okay, of your feelings, it could lead to a tower moment for you. So you need to be careful, you need to go with the flow. But here's something I'm getting from the Knight of Cups. So even though the Knight of Cups is like the Casanova of the of the tarot, like he's he's on a white horse, he's donning that, you know, all that all, all that knight's armor from head to toe, and he's holding a cup out to to someone, okay? And the cups is, the cups is representative of water, which is representative of emotion. So he's wanting to share his emotions, his feelings with somebody else. Now, the key here is, is he's still wearing armor. So he's still protected. He's still protecting himself, but he's sharing too. So 
I'm getting that it is okay to share those feelings with someone, okay? It is perfectly fine to share feelings with someone, like maybe like what you're going through, like how you feel. But then there's sharing too much. You can share too much. A knight would not get on a horse with a cup without all of his armor because number one, he wouldn't be a knight, but number two, like he, he wants to protect himself, but he also wants to share his emotions. He wants to share his feelings. He wants to share how he feels with somebody. But the balance to that is he's protecting himself at the same time because he's fully in his knight's armor. So be careful not to share too much. Um, when we share too much, we, we open ourselves up for people who are manipulative, people who don't have our best interests at heart, people who want to, well, do us harm. So being very careful not to share too much but I also feel like if you're not careful, if you're not careful not moving, refusing to move, the universe will also, I, I feel like this tower moment can be twofold. It can be sharing too much feelings. It can also be, it can also be refusing to move. When we refuse to move, that's usually when the universe is like, okay, well, we're gonna make you move. <laughs> <laughs> like you're gonna move this is what you're supposed to do this is the direction you're you're supposed to go in you're not going in that direction so things will happen that will push you into that direction like I always say universe nudges before it pushes and then it has to shove so take the hint when universe is nudging you because that's that's the time to move. That's the time to move. Um, that's the time to move in a new direction. I feel like there's one more card. I feel like there's one more card that needs to come out. At least one more card. So these fell out together. So I feel like I feel like maybe maybe this means that maybe this tower moment that that may happen, okay? If you're not careful, it may require, well, it is gonna require to move, but I mean like physically, like move addresses, move locations. It might require you to move. Um, because it's going to make you want to leave the situation. It's gonna make you want to leave this, this tower moment. Um, so being, I, I, I really think movement is key here. I really think movement is key uh, with this. Um, if you move, if you take the hint from the universe and move, then this tower moment is, I'm gonna say probably not gonna happen. I have a feeling that this tower moment is only if you don't move in the direction the universe is wanting you to move forward in. Um, but I feel like at the end of it, we have, well, we have the judgment card. I feel like at the end of it, that you're going to see that after all was said and done, if you just would have moved, it would have been okay. 
like you weren't going to lose this energy energy does not go away does not disappear it transforms so this energy can exist while you're moving I, you know you know she's not moving in the picture she's she's sitting and she's enjoying where she's at but you can still enjoy where you're at and move at the same time okay it's It's appreciating what you have, having that gratitude. It's having that, it's having that thankful gratitude energy that keeps you in this energy, okay, regardless of the situation. But I feel like if you don't, the veils are gonna come down Tower moment's gonna happen. You're gonna want to move away. Uh, you're gonna want to get away from this situation. Um, but I really feel like uh, it's because the universe is wanting you to move in in the direction that you're supposed to go in. And for whatever reason, you're not wanting to move from that. So the universe is going to end that for you so you can move forward, okay? Because uh, you're not willing to do so on your own. Um, but you're gonna see the value, you're gonna see the lesson in all of this. Um, whether, whether or not you willingly choose to move forward and start that new beginning and take that first step on your own, or if the universe is going to push you to do it, okay, um, you're going to, regardless of which timeline happens, you're going to see the value in taking that first step and taking that movement in your life again this year is all about movement movement move forward go do don't put off until tomorrow okay and i'm not going to finish that because that's that is um referencing actual work and i'm talking about personal movement personal growth uh personal emotional growth like i'm talking i'm talking not necessarily work but what what actions you can take for you for yourself to move forward to grow to to expand your energy and that was seven cards so i feel like i feel like that's all i need to do um with that deck and this is an awesome deck by the way it's super it's called the super lunaris s-u-p-e-r-l-u-n-a-r-i-s um and you can find that superlunaris.com but it's a beautiful deck with awesome artwork um very diverse um encompass encompassing both genders uh Many ethnic backgrounds are reflected in this. It is a beautiful, very vivid deck that has just amazing, amazing energy in these images. So if you want to check that out, check it out at superlunars.com. I don't get anything from it. I just really appreciate this deck. And you don't see it that often, so I, it's not something you can just get off Amazon. Um, so I wanted to make sure to share that with you. All right. Can I get an energy oracle card today? Can I get an energy oracle card? What energy would best assist in the in the message of this spread? What energy would best assist in the energy of this spread? What energy would best assist in the energy of this spread? Oh, 
Whoa. Okay. Balance. Balance. Angel of balance. It's all about balance. It's all about balancing your energy. It's all about balancing your energy. You can move forward and you can be content with where you are at the same time. Okay. You can you you can choose to be content. You can choose to be happy. Being content does not mean being still and not moving. That's 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 stagnant. That's being stagnant. There is no growth when we're stagnant. Um, moving forward, uh, moving forward, and embracing change. Okay. Um, and you're probably like, we just had two two and a half years of of massive change, and we have, but that's in our physical world. But I feel like this year, it's all about personal growth, personal movement, personal uh, change, okay? Um, I feel like because of everything that has transpired over the last two and a half years, that it really made us put that kind of change on the back burner. Um, and this year, it's like, nope. No, we, not that we have it, not that the universe is like, okay, we got to play catch up, but it's like, okay, now we need to, <laughs> I'm getting this, now we need to continue with your regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> I haven't heard that saying in I don't know how long. Uh, so anyways, like. The universe has a plan and you know things will happen that will interrupt it for a little bit but the universe is going to the universe is going to continue with the plans regardless <laughs> sometimes we realize when that change is going to happen and other times it just happens and we just have to respond to it All right, can I get a Keepers of the Light Oracle card today? What Keeper of the Light? Oh, wow, awesome. Joan of Arc, Voice of Truth. Stand strong, focus on your purpose, release fear, persecution, and speak your truth. Okay, so hmm. that, that would explain this card. Because you notice Joan of Arc also has on has on armor as well. So speaking your truth, sharing your feelings, being opening up and being vulnerable, not being so closed off, but protecting yourself at the same time. Okay? maybe not sharing too much with people you don't know um or people that you know have a history of being manipulative hurtful and not open to new ideas um, but don't let don't let not speaking your truth stand in your way. And I know I literally just said, speak your truth, but protect yourself. It's a fine line. It's a very fine line. It's a very fine line. Like you can tell someone, no, I don't, you know, I'm not available today to do that. You don't have to tell them why you're not available today. You don't have to be an open book. You can speak your truth. You can say, no, I can't do that today. Thank you. I'll catch you next time, you know, but you don't have to say, well, it's because I have this at this time and this at that time and oh, well, you know, well, maybe, maybe we can meet at this time. Maybe we can meet at this time, you know, and then because all that does is cause you anxiety, cause you frustration, cause you worry. And 
it's not establishing any boundaries, okay? All right, can I get a spirit animal oracle card today? Spirit animal would best assist in the energy of this spread. Armadillo spirit. Set healthy boundaries. So I live in Oklahoma. I see these things all over. They're they're very cute. But <laughs> they when when they sense danger, they roll up into a ball. Um, or like what happened to me, I came around the corner of my house and scared one because they don't have very good eyesight. I swear that thing jumped six inches into the air and then took off like a bullet uh, <laughs> away from me. Um, that was the that was the funniest thing. I jumped, it jumped, and it got the heck out of dodge. But uh, <laughs> but it can also. Um, it can also roll up into a ball when it feels threatened. Um, so armadillo spirit, uh, it sets it sets those boundaries. It's like it's it's like I feel threatened. I'm not going to. I'm not going to play with you. <laughs> like I'm not going to. Like I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Uh, and we'll just roll up into a ball. Um, It's all about, it's all about balance. It's all about balance. It's all about setting those boundaries, but at the same time, speaking your truth. Again, you can speak your truth, but not be an open book. Because when we're an open book, then people know every part of ourselves, of our lives, of our personality, and then with that information, depending on the um, character of that person who now has that knowledge, they can then manipulate it. And it's not that that person's evil or that person is mean or is a villain or anything like that. It's just human. It's just it's just human to want to try and get things for yourself. Not everyone is selfless, and we're not, and even people who are selfless most of the time are sometimes selfish sometimes. Like, there is not one person who's selfless all the time, okay? Sometimes, some, you know, like, say you volunteer, say you volunteer a lot, okay? You're a very selfless person, but there are also times where you want to be by yourself. Like you're like in your head, you're like, okay, I've, I just spent the last nine hours volunteering at, you know, the soup kitchen. I, I, I need some time for myself because I want, I want, uh, I want some me time. Like I, I need that decompression time. Okay. So you can technically argue, well, are you, you know, are, is that really being selfless? Because I mean, you could have just worked more at the soup kitchen because look at all those people who need help. So you're taking that little bit of time to be selfish, but it's for your own good. It's setting that boundary, okay? Because when we set that boundary, it gives us a chance to protect ourselves keep ourselves protected, our energy protected, and we're less likely to become manipulated, used, and, you know, become a doormat. Um, so it's all about balance, okay? You can speak your truth, but make sure you're not an open book, <laughs> and make sure you're not, uh, you're not sharing too much and you're setting those boundaries 
in your in your entire life like personal life uh, public life work life like you're setting those boundaries This is my overzealous deck. Um, so we'll go with these two. I feel like I feel like you may feel guilt when you start to set these boundaries. Um, when you sh when when you're sharing with others how you feel, but you're you're consciously drawing lines of what you are going to share and what you don't share, okay? I feel like it could be maybe causing some guilt because you may be feeling like, but you know, I don't want to just say no, I want to say why I'm saying no, but is that going to give them too much access to your life, you know, to what's going on in your life. Do they need to know that information? All right, honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So you need to be honest with yourself. You need to be honest with yourself. Um, how do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel about this situation? Okay. I feel like... I feel like it's also spirit saying, again, warning, not to share too much. Create those boundaries, keep those boundaries. Because you again, you don't you don't know what the other person's intentions are. You don't know, you know, if they want extra information from you so they can use it later on against you or in the same conversation they go, "Oh, well, you get off at 4. Well, then, you know, you know, you can meet us at this time." No, no means no, not maybe, not later, no means no. When you're setting boundaries, no means no. Um, yeah, this has to do with a lot of voicing, voicing your own truth, voicing um, information, voicing feelings, this, this, It's interesting, the spread started out in one direction and then turned. So, verbalization, vocalizing how you feel is key to this. It's key to this, which is, wouldn't explain why it's in, why the King of Cups, or sorry, the Knight of Cups card is in the center of the spread. So this is a very interesting reading, very, very interesting, a little bit different than my other readings. Um, I feel like we got a lot of information. But I don't feel like it's a story, per se, like most of the other readings. I feel like this is 
needed information at the time, but all kind of just thrown to get thrown together randomly. So if you resonate with this, that is awesome. I resonate with parts of this, but not the entire spread. So if you resonate with it, great. If you don't, take what does, leave what doesn't. Um, but this this is the message from Spirit today. Um, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I feel like the universe is wanting uh, the universe is wanting you to move. You just gotta you got to remember to not stay stagnant. <laughs> you can be content as you're moving through life. Stagnation is not growth. It's 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 anti growth. It's actually regression. Um, and then communicating, communicating, and finding that balance when you're communicating, okay? Voicing your truth, setting those boundaries. Don't feel guilt when you say no, um, because your no is for your truth, what you're living, okay, your life. It's not for that other person. That other person, they may be upset that you said no, but they're living a whole different truth. They're living a whole different life. They have no, they have no reference to what it is to live your life and why you're saying no and the underlying reasons that you have. Um, but you need to be honest with yourself because other people are not going to always be honest with you. Um, and by being too open and not guarded enough, okay, not guarded enough with what you share, um, can, can create tower moments for you in the future because they, because you'll have people that will use that for their own advantage, throwing you under the bus or putting through the meat grinder or whatever you want to say. Um, yeah. Earth school is hard. That's what I can say. Earth school is hard. Uh, it is hard. It is hard. We learn a lot while we're here. We learn a lot about a lot of things. And, um, yeah. And sometimes we have to learn through trial and error. But as long as we're learning the lesson that needs to be learned, we're moving forward, we're growing, we are growing mentally, emotionally, spiritually, so we can move to that next level, to that next step in our lives. So thank you guys so, so much for uh, tuning into this reading. I really appreciate you guys watching and make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I make a video and make sure to comment, let me know what you thought of this video. I really it does feel a little disjointed. It feels like a lot of information, a lot of random information, but I feel the messages that I just communicated come through. So there are people who need these messages, otherwise Spirit would not have sent them through. So thank you guys. You guys have a wonderful day. Much light and love to all of you.